we do have a car on the right. It waits for it and proceeds. Wow. All right, so here's a cool scenario. This guy is pulled off to the side. Come on, you can do it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Full Self Driving Beta. We are here and it's technically snowing. It's a little warm out for the snow to stick at all. It's 36 Fahrenheit. The uh, snow sticks best below 32 Fahrenheit. Poor weather detected. We'll see if the car will actually do anything. Full disclaimer, full self-driving beta is not finished and it is not out to the public yet. So it may make some mistakes and I will take over if I think that it's doing something bad that I don't want it to do. And if this video is old, it's probably a lot better than what you're watching, just so you know. So we're gonna try to let the car do everything. If you see this blue steering wheel, that means the car is doing it, despite my hands being near the steering wheel. So it is kind of a mix of snow and rain coming down and I figure, let's try, let's see how it handles it. Even though there's not snow sticking on the ground covering up the lanes, which I think is what people are really interested in, but you know, Michigan has been pretty warm this winter so far. So what you're seeing here with the turn signal, it's trying to turn left there. Pretty sure that's a map issue. This used to be, not too long ago, um, uh, an intersection with traffic lights. And so you would have to you know, turn left if you wanted to go left. Now we're not going left, but that's my only guess as to why the car likes to do that. It, it does it every time there. But if I turn it back on here, we can let it go through this roundabout. It should do a fine job of this. And it's proceeding. And so yeah, handles that roundabout fine. Everything looks great on the screen there, despite it being nighttime, pretty dark out. It seemed like it mapped the roundabout with the cameras really well. And you will get the autopilot on and off noise. That's the navigate on autopilot noise. It kind of comes on and off and I can't figure out uh, a, a reason or a pattern as to why that's happening. You can see that human was also displayed by the car there on the screen. Just going to change my nav here really quick to go home. I don't have it going to home yet. Coming up to a right turn, you can kind of hear the icy snow hitting the glass. At least I can. Hopefully that's coming across. So turn signals on. So even though we got a little message that said navigate on autopilot unavailable, the car is still handling the turns and everything. So I think that's just a little leftover remnant from the public code where the car is not actually stopping what it's doing. It's just for some reason kind of flips that switch and says, eh, there's some bad weather, but it continues operating. So now we got a left turn coming up, unprotected left, no light or anything. A little late on the turn signal. Just gonna hit that. If you do end up enjoying this video, please hit like and get subscribed. It's like, man, like over 80% of people watching are not subscribed. I'd love to hit 100K subs someday. That'd be great. Thank you so much. So we made that left turn and then on this road, uh, it's been wrong for a long time. The speed limit is actually, pretty sure it's 55 on this road, but the car always thinks that it's slower. So I'm gonna let it keep steering, but I'm going to hit the accelerator uh, with my foot so that it will go, go faster. Now, keep in mind while I'm doing that, it will not break since my foot is on the accelerator. So if I want to brake, I'd have to let off the accelerator. These are some massive <laughs> snowflakes. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like it. These are so strange looking and they're hitting the ground and not melting right away. They almost look like leaves or something. So approaching this left turn, Really, really fast cars on this road. Left turn. Look at that. Did you see that? It's like a huge chunk of snow. So really fast traffic from the left and the right. The car is creeping out. We do have a car on the right. It waits for it and proceeds. Wow. Okay. So really good. Waited for that car to pass. Turns left. Really. No what is? What is this snow? This is so. Never seen anything like it. Oh my gosh. This is so strange. So again, I know it's not covering the ground and, and obstructing the lane lines. I'm sure we'll get there eventually with the beta. But for now, it is snowing. I did want to share this with you. Look at, look at these. Look at these, they're like snowballs falling from the sky. I'm like, I'm blown away by this. It's so strange. And like when they hit the windshield, you can see how massive they are. That is crazy. So 
So as we approach the highway here, really good job getting over. This is exactly where we need to be. Seems the snow has slowed a good amount. And highway, hopefully it'll get on here pretty good. We got a raised median there. Nice job. You can see a ton of tire tracks on there uh, from, uh, from humans running into it. Autopilot has never run into that for me. I've used it in that spot a bunch of times. Uh, it seems the snow has slowed down for us and highway autopilot is really, oh, I have my confirmations off. Uh, highway autopilot is really no different from the public build. So we can skip over this. Hopefully we'll get some more snow when we get to some more traffic lights and intersections and things. Okay, so we are continuing here. I actually had to pull over and wipe the snow off of my front radar. So there was so much snow. I had turned my GoPro off because it was, like I said, just the highway. This is all full self driving now, by the way. I was just on the highway and so I turned the GoPro off, but the front radar got blocked by snow, which is known. It happens on Teslas. Now newer Model 3s and actually all the newer cars have a heated front radar. So that won't be an issue for those. My Model 3, older Model 3s, older S and X do not have that heated radar. So you're supposed to put some Never Wet on there and it's supposed to work. It, I've tried it before, it's worked for me. It does kind of wear off quickly. But anyway, that is a problem with the older cars is they can get their radars blocked by snow. The newer cars, that shouldn't be an issue. And I did not expect there to be snow today. It's been, like I said, the weather's been really weird. And so I have not put any Never Wet on. I think that probably would have fixed it because there was barely anything on there. But I was going down the highway. It's cold enough. There was a lot of snow there for a minute. And so I wasn't too surprised that that happened. So I did pull over, wiped it off, and now we're back. One interesting thing though is all the visuals, this all worked perfectly with the radar covered. So it looked the exact same. I didn't record anything, but this all looked the exact same, but I could not turn on full self-driving. I could not turn on traffic aware cruise control. It gave me the front radar reduced visibility message. So we're finishing up the journey here and the weather has, I mean, it's really dark and, and still the roads are wet, but now the snow has kind of calmed down a little bit and it's just kind of a drizzle. So we can see how the car finishes it. But uh, so far, besides the radar getting blocked, which is a big deal, it's worked perfectly. It's done everything correctly, as you've seen. Wow, aggressive and really good move into this left turn lane here. And the car thought it was time to go, and it was definitely not time to go. So I hit the brake, turn it back on. We don't need a turn signal here, I'll turn that off. And now is a good time to go, and there we go. So yeah, those creep forwards, it's hard for me to tell. I, I can't tell if the car is just adjusting itself for a better view and to kind of move forward to get ready to go or if it's actually gonna go. So I always hit the brake for two reasons. One, obviously I don't want it to go while cars are coming. And two, those people coming towards me, I don't want them to think even that I'm gonna go because that might cause them to react somehow in an unfavorable way if they think I'm about to drive in front of them. So gotta avoid those situations and uh, hope that gets ironed out. Coming up to a right turn here onto a dirt road. So overall precipitation was handled well besides the radar getting covered. But again, I needed to put the never wet on, but I did not expect that today at all. So even in the dark, really dark wet roads, taking that right turn nicely and transitioning onto the dirt. Uh, well, so that's good. We'll go a little slower. It's, roads are probably terrible right now. So yeah, handling this dirt road at night, we'll give it brights. Hey, maybe we'll come across some deer. But otherwise, yeah, it handled that precipitation well. I know, again, we don't have snow sticking to the ground, but if I can get some for you, I will. I'm not sure if the system's really ready for that or not yet, but I'll try it out and we can, we can see what's going on with that. really blind left turn there, but took its time and did a great job. Pretty interesting how it's showing the yellow line as if that's there. I don't know if it's just seeing a tire track or something, but 
yeah, great job by the system. All right, hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to talking to you down in the comments and you will see me in full self-driving beta probably in the next video. All right, so here's a cool scenario. This guy is pulled off to the side. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he started to go. What is he doing? Oh man, my car handled that beautifully though. I don't know why he started driving right as I was beginning to pass him, but wow, great job on that. So Autopilot and I are happily driving along 